Hey everyone, it's Brian B. and Miss Megan from westcoastswingonline.com bringing you how to dance West Coast Swing. So if you were to put a gun to my head and say, Brian B., I need to learn some basic West Coast Swing tonight. I need to learn how to West Coast Swing tonight. Shorten the learning curve. I would give you these four basic patterns to get you started. Let's demo them first and then we'll go ahead and break them apart. Uh, we would have the sugar push, three and four, five and six. This is also called the push break. One, two, three and four, five and six. We'd have the left side pass. One, two, three and four, five and six. This is also called the left side pass. One, two, three and four, five and six. Most of us agree on that one. Then we have the right side pass. One, two, three and four, five and six. That's also called the underarm turn. One, two, three and four, five and six. Then we have what's called a whip and that is the first eight count West Coast Swing basic pattern that you will encounter. It looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's go ahead and break them apart. The sugar push or push break is first. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So the footwork looks like this. First two steps are walking steps for both of us. We're both gonna do the men's and women's footwork. So if you're a follower, go ahead and get on that side of the screen and follow Miss Megan. If you're a leader, come to my side and follow me. Two walking steps for one, two. One, two, I make a close on my second step so that she can close into me. Our three and four happens in place for me, three and, and I step forward, the follower steps back for count four, short step for the leader. Then we're gonna anchor step, that's our last triple step on five and six, five and six, and it's generally good etiquette for me to keep my right foot tucked back and the follower to keep her left foot tucked back. So we do this again, we would have one, two, three and four, and we triple five and six. To lead this, we start with an away connection, and I'm gonna offer this hand up. She's gonna run in with her punching knuckles so I can stop her. We have one, two, and I stop the follower. We triple three and, and I don't push her back, but my step leads her back for four. She runs out of room to connect, and we triple five and six. That is your sugar push, all the important things to know. The left side pass is this one, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. We're gonna do that from both sides. So the footwork first, I'm gonna step for one, two, I'm gonna curl out of the slot, one, and I'm gonna make life easy and step together for two. The follower has two forward steps. She's gonna pass with three and four. Three and four. So let's break that three and four down for the follower specifically. So I curl out for one, together for two. She steps side cross pack on three and four, side cross back. I step in the slot on count four, the same anchor step or triple step in place for five and six, keeping my right leg back, follower's left leg back. If we do that from the reverse side, we have one, two. I'm out of the slot to allow her to pass. She has three quick steps, three and four. We triple step in place, five and six. So that with connection, we keep this away connection and we maintain it the whole time. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So when you are learning to dance West Coast Swing, you wanna know how to dance West Coast Swing and how to connect well, make sure to maintain that connection. That's gonna be your lifeline. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. That is your left side pass. Here's the good news for the right side pass or underarm turn. It's the exact same footwork for the girls. Let's do it from this side. It would look like this. One, two, three, and four, five and six. So if we break that down from this side, the right side pass, because she's passing on my right side, it's also called the underarm turn because she's traveling under the leader's arm. So I have to get out of the slot to this side to allow her to pass on my right. So one, two, one, two. I'm out of the slot, I'm facing the slot. She continues for three and four. Three and four, exact same footwork as the left side pass. So we put her back here. So that being said, let's be concerned with what the follow, or I'm sorry, what the leaders do, because that is different. So one, two, I like to step together, which gets me out of the slot and away from her. We have three and, happens mostly in place, I step back in the slot on count four, and we triple step five and six. We call that an anchor step, because an anchor stays in place. So if we did that two times in a row, this is the right side pass or underarm turn, depends on where you learn it, one, two, three and four, five and six, oh, one, two, three and four, five and six. That is the third of your basic patterns if you had to dance West Coast Swing tonight. 
From the other side, let's do the whip. This is the first eight count pattern that you encounter and it looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's break that apart. I'm gonna hide Megan's footwork on the first little bit, but we'll go ahead and break it down for you in a second. So a lot like the right side pass, I step out for one, two, one, two. The lady steps forward and back for one, two. If we do that again, I step out for one, two. She dances forward, back, one, two. Cool, now she dances back together forward for three and as I step across on count four. Now, I get out of her way on count five. She steps back for six as I pop back in the slot and then we anchor seven and eight, our anchor step. So we do that again, we'll freeze on count four. One, two, three, and four. From here, I'm actually outside the slot. My body's in her way, so I have to get this out of the way for count five. She continues for count six, and we triple seven and eight. To lead this, we have a bunch of different ways to lead this, but the easy way is what's called a J-hook lead, where I'm kind of creating a little bit of a J with my lead for one, two. One, two, she lands in my right hand. I allow her to go back with both hands for three and four. Three and four, we step across. She's headed that way, so I don't get in her way, I get out of her way for five. We release for six, we're connected again, as we anchor seven and eight. Let's give that a reverse view. We have one, two, three, and four of five, six, seven, and eight. And that is your whip, and that's the first eight count pattern. Now, let's add a couple of disclaimers when you're, learn when you're trying to figure out how to dance West Coast Swing. There's a bunch of different ways, there's a bunch of different slight variations of even the basic patterns. Don't be stressed out by that. I taught a very viable version, but if there's a teacher in your area that has something slightly different, don't worry, the guy on YouTube isn't either right or wrong. They're both probably legit. Um, so if we recap this real quick again, this is your sugar push or push break. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. A lot of people consider that the basic. Then the left side pass, which is the first one we're really moving around. One, two, three, and four, five and six, the right side pass or underarm turn, which this is what I say, when you're good, this becomes your brain fart move when you can't remember what pattern to lead, you lead that one because it looks kind of slick. And then this is the mind meld, everything has been six counts up till now, this is your whip, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. So there are your four basic patterns as you are learning how to dance West Coast Swing. Now, three things for you, number one, Go ahead and subscribe to our channel because you'll get great videos um, put out through the channel. Number two, if you want a full recap of all of the basic patterns broken down, guys and girls footwork, head to westcoastswingonline.com. There's a link in this corner. We have a full breakdown for you of all the patterns. Number three, when people have gotten past the beginner stages, they're concerned with what's next because there's a myriad of patterns and a ton of different things you can learn. So we put out a specific video on, in the store on our website that's called 10 Patterns You Need to Know Next. So after you've mastered the basic patterns, these are the next ones that you'll want to tackle as you head down the path. So if you have any questions, um, head to the website. You can email me personally and I will answer anything I can. Thanks guys and we'll see you on the dance floor soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in more, check out my website, westcoastswingonline.com. We'll see you on the dance floor.